let's go ahead and assign some values to our figures here. I went ahead and colored in the base of this 3D figure here um, to show that this two-dimensional rectangle is identical to this rectangle down here on the base of this rectangular prism. So we're going to go ahead and assign this. This is going to be 2. This is going to be 6. And again, you can call this units. You can call it inches. It really does not matter um, because the calculation is going to be the same. If this were a word problem, you'd need to pay attention to whatever unit you were using. So to calculate perimeter, we know that opposite sides on our rectangle are congruent. So if this is 2, this is also 2 on this side. If this is 6, this is also going to be 6 above. So we're going to add those together. 2 plus 6 is 8. We're going to have 6 and 2 over here, also 8. 8 plus 8. Give us 16 units. And that's going to give us our perimeter. Our area is going to be our length times our width. Now, the good thing about multiplication is that it's commutative. You can move it in any direction you want. So it really doesn't matter if you do 2 times 6 or 6 times 2. Either one works. 6 times 2 is going to give us 12. Now, when we calculate area, we calculate in square units. Little 2 is going to tell us that's square units. Moving on to volume, we get to use this because we've already calculated this base right here. Base is just what the figure is sitting on. And we just need to know how many of these chunks do we have. So moving up, this has a value of 2. So it would be 6 times 2 times 2. Notice that this right here is the same as our area. We're just finding out that base and we multiply the base by the height. So 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Now, when we're doing volume, we're measuring in cubes, just like unit cubes. So it's going to be a little 3 here for the 1, 2, 3 dimensions. So it would be 24 cubic units.